what's up guys um well first of all i want to say uh thank you to all my new subscribers i got like two or three hundred in like the last couple weeks but uh today i'm just doing some updating on uh on the chevy so i'm gonna be pulling all the bed audio out and i got a new bed enclosure mocked up and stuff uh, i just have to test fit it make sure it all fits and then i'm gonna paint it and stuff but uh i just gotta finish it up but um yeah so now i just gotta start stripping all the equipment out of this and then uh make sure this thing fits in the bed i pre-measured it before i built it so uh it should fit but we all know how that works so i'm gonna get this thing moved and start pulling all the equipment out of the bed and then once i got all the equipment out i'll uh Make sure the new one fits. equipment out I got the old enclosures out this one's shoved in there just kind of got a piece of PVC holding it up trying to figure out how high it's gonna need to go in order for it to flip up to face out I got some hinges I'm trying to figure out actuators and stuff on the box right now to figure out how high it'll go or whatnot or where it needs to go or I don't know but I'm just happy this thing fits, and I still got my hinge room here. So. This way. And then hinge will sit flat just in here. So, it can fit. 
flip up to face back, but yeah, so now I just gotta figure out the rest of the stuff with the bed and all that, and then uh, yeah, I guess I gotta paint the enclosure and stuff, so I'll figure out the rest of it before I paint it just to make sure it'll work, and then uh, I guess we'll see. So I got it all test fitted and the top still folds in and out and all that good stuff. Um, I got my amp placement all good. I got a stick that holds the top high enough so I can paint it and open and close it. Um, so I was going to spray it, but since this thing's heavy to get in and out, it's not that easy. Uh, figured I'd go ahead and mount it and just roll on the the paint for the cover it's technically a roll-on coating anyways so i mean i guess it's fine but to just reduce overspray and stuff i'm just gonna uh uh roll it on because now it's mounted in of course i got these big hinges that hold it in so yeah and the top sits perfectly on there once it's fully out. And uh, so yeah, I guess I'm just gonna get to coating this thing so it gets to dry and then I can hopefully get the speakers in. So I got it all coated. So now as that dries, I'll just jump back here and do some wiring and stuff like that. And hopefully this dries fast enough. I mean, it was kind of drying in the pan, so it should dry relatively fast, but, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna jump back there, do some wiring. Probably not gonna record, cause it's just not really, nothing exciting. Just be another time lapse. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I'll uh, pick up the camera next time I get to another milestone. All right, so it's only been like maybe, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, but 
it's all dry. So we'll see if I can get all the wiring done, all that good stuff. I got everything just kind of sitting in there right now and kind of mocked up. I got to go through. I got to run around and get my butt connectors from my parents' house. Um, but yeah, so little stuff like that, and then I can get back and get going on her.
there guys so it's all done uh, I'm not quite sure how heavy it is or if I'm gonna be able to move it so I got some buddies here to help me try and move it but here it is. so I got eight fifteens eight one inch horns and eight two inch horns and then all the amps and speaker wire but uh yeah so that's all it is just a big box with a bunch of speakers.